Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Crafting with V. And if you are new here, welcome. So glad you could stop by. And if you're returning, thank you so much for returning. Just a second. Anyway, what I am doing today is a coffee chat and whip. But, as you can see, I'm in a different room of the house. Um, I am actually in my bedroom, and I've got my computer set up on a little uh, TV table. Just so I can record this. Because I tried recording this video in the living room with the grandkids here, and it got a little too loud, so... What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do a voiceover on what I recorded and let you know what all that's going on. I've just been, it seems like I'm running all the time, so this is what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, but first, if you're new here, welcome. So glad that you stopped by. And if you're returning, thank you so much for returning. I'm getting close to the 500 subscribers. That's a little bit exciting. Um, but anyway, thank you so much. And we are going to go ahead and go over to the whipping chat now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Um, today what we are doing is we are working on the painting So Many Books, So Little Time by Randall Spangler. This is a Diamond Art Club. It was in my stash. Um, and it is a 56 centimeter by 109 centimeters square drill. Such a pretty painting. I absolutely love this painting. The sticker will go in my logbook after I'm done. But for now, I've got a copy of that before I took all the stickers off of it to put on my bottles as what is in my logbook right now for it. But anyway, I am doing this for my grandson's physical therapist to hang for him to hang in his office um I am donating this to him I asked if he would like to have it he told my daughter yes so that is the reason that I am doing this painting I've got about a row and a half or almost a row and a half after I finish the square done and it does have a lot of color blocking in it. A lot of Randall Spangler paintings do. But you do switch colors quite often. It's kind of like color blocking confetti in a way. I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But anyway. This is take three on trying to record this. Um... The first time I tried to record this video, I was in the living room. My grandkids were being kind of loud, and so I decided that I would just do a voiceover. Well, I use an app on my phone that allows, that allows me to... I have the app on my phone and on my laptop, and it allows me to use my extra smartphone that I have as a webcam. <coughs> anyway, whenever I decided that I was going to do the voiceover on this, I got all the way through this whole um, whipping chat and discovered that I had it on the wrong microphone. So once again, it was recording the kids in the living room where my other smartphone is at and not using my USB headset that I was using. So, here we go again. Take three. Let's try to do it a little bit better this time. 
Anyway, I wanted to let you know, DP Crazy Lady, I absolutely love that painting. Moonlight in the Garden. I think it's Moonlight in the Garden. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But I am really going to have to look at getting that painting after I get a few more things paid off. We're trying to get caught back up on some bills and we're almost there. So anyway, absolutely love that painting. So pretty and that I just watched Lazy Retired Granny's video where your daughter had sent her that painting. That was so, such a beautiful thing for her to do. Uh, Lazy Retired Granny absolutely deserves that painting. I love watching her videos. I love watching your videos. And anyway, just such a nice thing for her to do. Um, speaking of that, I just wanted to let y'all know, on the weekends, I do work a three-day work week at my main job. So, Saturday, Sunday, Mondays, you may not hear a whole lot from me. But, I do watch your videos. I actually watch and listen to them while I'm at work. A lot of times, I can't comment. I try to always hit the like button on those. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, my allergies are really acting up. Anyway, I do try to always hit the like button. Even though I'm not able to comment. I try to remember what y'all talked about and everything so I can answer your questions here. Um, if I do have a chance to comment, I, I do, but most of the time I just hit the like button and I listen to all of them. I always keep up with them most of the time. Uh, Becky Sloan, I will have to... I just watched your latest video, but you did one before that. And I will have to re-watch that one because... We got busy and everything, so I didn't quite get to listen to it as well as I wanted to. So I will try to rewatch that one here pretty soon. But as far as my son, he is doing a lot better. Um, he did have to stay in the hospital for about a week. And... That extra few days was because they were trying to get his potassium levels up. Just a second, I'm going to take a drink. But anyway, um, he's doing a lot better. He did have to stay a couple extra days because they were trying to get his potassium levels up. Um, and this did do a little bit of damage to his kidneys that they will have to keep an eye on. But he's back to work and everything, so he's doing a lot better. Um, I was watching Lazy Retired Granny's stash videos. I love all of your paintings, but... I absolutely love the unicorn. That one is so pretty. Um, I love the mystical things and the dragons, unicorns, fantasy. I love all that stuff. So I absolutely love that painting. Um, I probably have something similar to it in mind. In my stash, probably not the same one, but I probably have something similar. And I actually need to finish all of my stash videos. And I am not doing it whenever I do those videos. I'm not doing it to brag. I went a little bit crazy whenever I first found Diamond Art Club. And I had the money at that time, so I did buy quite a few of them and craftably. So you're going to see quite a few of those paintings. But now, I am trying to work through most of them. And I normally only buy like 
one or two every couple months, if that. So, especially now that I'm trying to save up some money, we're not, I'm definitely not buying as many as I used to. But I will finish up my stash video here pretty soon. And I know this picture is kind of upside down for y'all to see, but eventually I'll get my setup so that I don't have to flip the picture around. But while I'm working on it, I think it's okay. Um, I watched Susan Diamond Paints video of her Timu unboxing. I absolutely love the Sunflower Gnome. So cute. I think I might have already done that one, or I have that one. I can't remember which, but it was adorable. I love sunflowers, and I love gnomes, or as Lazy Retired Granny calls them, gnomes. <coughs> I'm going to have to get me another 12-pack of painting so I can join y'all with the one a month. Hold on just a moment. I gotta check on the grandkids in there. I think they're kind of fighting. Just one moment. Okay, they were fine. They were just getting a little excited and they tend to do that sometimes. Um, they love playing Minecraft and that's what they're playing in there. Um, I don't know if y'all have seen those little mini toolboxes that they have at Lowe's that a lot of people have been showing on Facebook. Um, Josh actually got me one of those and it is metal so I can put all my cover minders on it on the lid and everything. I, I love it. It's just it's a tiny toolbox but it works perfectly for all my pens and stuff. Um, in the video, you can see the corner of it where I have it setting up at the top. Um, <clears throat> but I'll try to do another video so I can show that to y'all along. Probably whenever I do my little completion video. Um, he also got me a lap desk that they had at Walmart that I can use in the car whenever we go on trips or whenever I'm door dashing and waiting to get an order which I haven't done that in a while I need to start doing that again but anyway I'm gonna pause this just one more time just a second okay so I am back again if you hear my grandkids in the background I'm sorry like I said, they're playing Minecraft and they get a little rambunctious. But anyway, I was telling you about the little toolbox that he got me from Lowe's. It's so cute. It's It'll be perfect whenever I go camping because I'll have all my stuff in there. can just pick up this little toolbox and take it with me. It uh, is absolutely perfect for me. I would have liked to have the pink one. But at our Lowe's, they didn't have that one. So, I got the black one. Um, and then, of course, he got me the little lap desk, which it was at Walmart. It works perfectly for working on a diamond painting in the car. I've already tried it out because I had to wait on Joshua to get off work. And I know that's a little confusing, Josh and Joshua. Josh is my husband, Joshua is my son. So I had to wait on Joshua to get off work. Um, and I sat out in the car for 30, 45 minutes because he did, never gets off on time. But anyway, I sat out there and I diamond painted a while while I was waiting and um, I think I was working on the Disney silhouette. I've got two more in that four pack, but I think after I finish this third one on that, I'm going to package all of those diamonds up and put them in a little baggie, label them so that I can do the last painting later. 
because I want to work on some of my other smaller ones. Um, once you've done a bunch of the silhouettes, one right after the other, I'd like to find a painting with a little more color in it. I, <coughs> I will do a completion video here pretty soon of my owl that I finished. It turned out so cute, and my mom's already wanting it. She wants all my paintings that she hears about, so... Um, we, I might give that one to her, or I'll take a bunch down there and let her have first choice, and then I'll donate a bunch of them to the nursing home. Um, Tuesday, me and Josh went to Fort Smith. We went and ate at the, at Village Inn. I don't know if y'all have ever ate there, but I love their skillets that they have. I always get the ultimate skillet and it's so good. I absolutely love it and I always get French toast with it. Which I don't need the French toast, but they make that their meals are very, very good. I absolutely love it. And we used to go there once a week, every week. We would go up to Fort Smith. They have free pie Wednesdays. And they still have that. It's just not all day long. And it's while supplies last and stuff like that. But we, we just normally go grocery shopping on Wednesdays. We take Josh's mom grocery shopping. And... We just stopped doing that, mainly because whenever we were doing that, we were working two different, we went to working two different shifts. Now we work the same shift, but at that time, he worked Tuesday through Friday. I worked Saturday through Monday. <coughs> and plus... At that time, I was also working at McDonald's as a shift manager on my other days off. So we just ran out of time and quit going up there as much. But now, um, we go up there about once a month and normally we'll eat there. Um, anyway, did that on Tuesday, Wednesday... I had to take my daughter to take care of some business, and I ended up being out most of the day that day. Um, but she will be able to get tags on her car here pretty soon, so I should, she should be able to start taking herself to work and maybe helping me out a little bit with Joshua getting him to work as well. Um, and even though I have three days off every week, it never seems like I have that many days off. Um, I'm always running, always have something to do on those days. <coughs> Sorry about that. Even yesterday, um, from 10 o'clock in the morning till... I don't think I got home till about 5. I wasn't working. I had to take... I had to go and get gas. I had to take Joshua to work. And then... Axel had his therapy appointment that I took... Courtney to take him to. And then I took her grocery shopping. And then by the time I got her back home... It was time to go pick up Josh from work. Or Joshua from work. So yesterday I was barely home at all. And then Josh gets gets home about uh, between 7, 7.30. And then we eat and I spend a little bit of time with him. Or diamond paint and everything. But once again it's always... The TVs are going and stuff in the house and all that. So, I don't have a whole lot of time then. Um, but, and then on Fridays, I normally help out down at the shop. But today, 
at last minute she got scheduled this shift so I've got the boys and it's easier to watch them here at the house rather than rather than taking them down to the shop where they don't have anything to do so I did that and then we get to today which by the way is the 28th and it is Friday I'm here at the house the kids are in the other room um, <coughs> today Josh took Courtney to work earlier this morning well I had to take Joshua to work later in the day a little bit so took him to work we came back home the kids have been in there and I have started working on this what normally takes me about uh, 30 minutes to edit has taken me probably an hour which that's fine no big deal but one thing I learned yesterday and today I feel so bad for him and there's times that I have to leave him here at the house bullet does not like being at the house by himself um, I know now that he can get out of the backyard and just chooses not to most of the time because we have a doggy door where he can go out in the fence yard in the back well I left he started whining I think he's starting to get separation anxiety and before I even pulled out of the driveway I look across the street and he's standing over there and I know he didn't sneak out behind me in the front door so I've got to figure out where he's getting out of the gate where he's getting out at and take care of that but while I had to leave and leave him here I had to shut off the back doggy door so that he couldn't get outside so but and then today he started whining again so I went ahead and closed it off before we left it's open back up now so he can go back out but and I've started taking him a lot of places too with me even whenever <coughs> up until the last few weeks he has never been alone because I got him from a co-worker she used to breed chihuahuas raise them sell them and she's actually one of she was actually one of those breeders that took very good care of the dogs and gave them all of their shots and everything and had heated and cooled areas for them everything she was a very she takes to this day she still takes wonderful care of her animals but she was getting out of the business of breeding chihuahuas so <coughs> she was giving them away they were full blood chihuahuas I probably could have got the papers on him but I had no intention of breeding him or anything so I didn't even ask for the papers which I knew she had <coughs> <coughs> But anyway, at that time, he was around all of his, the other puppies and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. One more. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm having a coughing fit. But anyway, Bullet had been around all the puppies and everything. Well, he came here. And I had three other dogs. All of them were older than him, but had three other dogs here, so he was never alone then. And the last few weeks, anytime we leave and stuff, I think he's getting a major case of separation anxiety. So I try to take him with me as much as possible, but there's, if I'm 
not going, if I'm going to be getting out of the car to places he can't go, then there's no way that I can take him with me and leave him in the car. It wouldn't be safe for him. So, um, hopefully it gets a little bit easier for him every time. But anyway, um, I really don't have much else to say and we're already at 25 minutes. So anyway, I will see you next time. Um, hope you enjoyed this little chat and I will try my best to put out another video probably Tuesday. I normally try to do two, at least two to three a week, but this week just hasn't made time for me to do that. Anyway, hopefully at least by Tuesday I'll have another video out. I will see you next time. Take care. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Bye!